Just like you. Great job, great job, Mallory. That did look just like Logan. Up next, Reese Boudreau. Reese is going to attempt a superwoman dunk. That's a hard one, Thomas. Let's give it another go, buddy. Go, let's go. Great job, Thomas. And our last competitor is up now with his first dunk, Jameis Corbett. The name of this dunk is called the Michael Jackson Moon Dunk. Second attempt of the night, Mallory McDonald. This duck is called Break Your Back, Back Attack. Here we go, Mallory.
Great job, Mallory. That's a great dunk. And up next, Reese Woodrow with her second dunk. This one's called the Kurt Baller. attempt, Tom, Thomas Kerrigan, his is called the cartwheel dunk, maybe similar to the cart baller, I'm not sure. Yeah. Great job, Thomas. And our last competitor with his second dunk, it's just called a bouncy dump. I'm not sure about this one. Great job, Jameis. Great job, buddy. Okay, we're down to the final dump for each competitor. Mallory McDonald with her third attempt. This one's called a triple flip, dunk and split. Coming up with a dunk, she calls this one the Scrambler. are teaming up for a combo dunk. So up next we have Jameis Corbett and Thomas Kerrigan. Let's see what these guys got planned. It's called a double handshake. Again, big thanks to our sponsors for this event, Nova Scotia Power and Electric Candy.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Breton Education Center Gym. As we have the second semifinal of the 2023 Cold Bowl Classic. This game featuring the Hans North Rural High School Flames and the Riverview Rural High School Ravens. We just saw the Beck Bears come out with a big win to advance to their fourth final in program history. Ravens now looking to advance to their fifth, I believe, final in program history. Got a little stretch in the 90s. Back to back to back trips to the final. Coming out with wins in two of those three, winning in 92 and 94. And Ryan Wadden gets us going here, getting the Ravens on the board with the easy layup. It's Gilby. Jump shot, no good. Rebound taken by Lecky. Wadden, they get it down low for McLeod. Lecky drives and loses the handle on it. Goes out of bounds, it will remain Ravens possession with six seconds on the shot clock. Ravens looking to stack it up here on the inbound. They get it in, corner three, just off the mark for Wadden. Rebound taken by Lecky. Big offensive board from Lecky. Flames defender seem to knock it away. Off the leg of Lecky. Hans North possession the other way. Gilby. Tries to kick to the corner for White. That one's Knocked out of bounds, 11 seconds to shoot. Good anticipation there from Tunnicliffe as well. Gets out quick on the defender. To get it in for Miller. Working against this 2-3 zone of the Ravens. Three to shoot, got to get a shot. I'm not sure he's aware. And that's going to be a shot clock violation if he does not get the shot off. And I don't think... Cloud heard the whistle as we do have a shot clock violation. As the hometown Ravens fans are. I didn't know Riverview was in New Water for it. I've been living here. Didn't even know it was there. Home in this scenario, Alex. I actually believe that the Ravens are the visiting team on today's scoreboard. Corner three won't drop. Ton of cliff attacking, puts it up off glass and good. Miller now trying to answer, gets it over for Gilby. In the corner for White, back to Miller. Mid range jumper, won't go. Rebound taken, Lecky. Over to Tunnicliffe, works it for Wadden. They swing it, get it down low for McLeod. Puts it up off glass and he's good for two. 6-0 start here for the Ravens. Gilby to the corner for White. They get it down low. Henniger is fouled. Foul goes against Tunnicliffe. His first personal foul, first team foul of the game. They get it in. Miller off the glass, no good. Rebound taken by McCormick, and his pass is picked off by White. White now passes to White. And they get it over for Miller. Into the corner, Gilby three, just off the mark. Rebound taken by McCormick. 
for Wadden. Thought about the three. He'll take a step and pull it. No good. Flames trying to get themselves on the board here. 6-0 lead for the Ravens. Gilby, mid-range jumper, still can't find their opening hoop as Wadden will go in for an easy one. Flames have been getting a lot of good looks as well, just unfortunately not able to convert. White wants three. He'll find it. That's one way to get your team going. Corner three for Drake White. Hopefully that'll spark something offensively for the Flames. Right back the other way, Lackey. Lackey trying to answer. No good, rebound taken by White. Miller crosses, gets it over to Peyton White. Good hands from McLeod. Sixteen to shoot for the Flames. Get it in for Miller. Back for Gilby. Returns for Miller. Gets into the lane, puts up the high floater off the top of the backboard. It's McLeod now in transition. Goes up. Easy layup. And the Flames are going to use their first timeout. 10-3 lead, 4.45 to go in the opening quarter. Hot start, really feeding off that crowd as well are the Ravens. Quick 10-3 lead. Nathan, if you're a coach, Toby White, what are you telling your squad right now as they look to not let this game get out of hand early? Just really got to take the crowd out of this. I know they've, they've had a lot of good looks offensively, just can't seem to get it to go. Keep fighting for those possessions. Keep taking those shots, and eventually you'll, uh, you'll be able to come away with a couple of buckets here. Not far off, Coach talking it over, try to stop the bleeding a little bit before it gets too out of hand. A couple of good possessions here from the Flames. Ravens coming out in a bit of a zone package. Let's try to get the ball into the middle here. If you're just joining us, I'm Alex McLeod here with Nate Petty. We didn't introduce ourselves at the beginning of this, I'm just realizing. A little hot start here. Right away. 4.45 remaining in the first. Right away the crowd, right back into it out of a timeout. This gym will be pretty loud tomorrow if it's a Riverview back final, that's yeah, for it, sure. It, with Beck advancing, it creates the opportunity for the first ever all Cape Breton Cole Bowl final. Great hustle there by White and Lecky. We have a jump ball and will remain Flames possession with 14 on the shot clock. He'll be mid range. That one's good. It's a big offensive possession for the Flames out of the timeout. And as you said, Nathan, the Flames were getting good looks early on. They just weren't dropping. Just unfortunate rolls. So we have Lemoyne and Todd checking into the game for the Ravens. Ravens coming out with a little bit of front court pressure now. Forcing a turnover from the Flames. Ravens get it in for Tonicliff. Splits the defender, loses the handle. It's Gilby. And he's unable to make the layup. That's a foul going against Lemoyne. First personal foul, second team foul. It's Jordan Young will check into the game for the Flames. Miller at the line, hits the first. Unable to hit on the back half, rebound taken by Lemoyne. Lecky now controlling, gets it over for Wadden. For Todd, it's 
tipped. Claimed by Tonicliffe. Skip pass. Wadden. He'll pull for three. No good. Tipped and taken by LeMoyne. He's stripped on the way up. Same coach. Thought there was a little bit of an over the back there. Good hands there from White. Stopping the fast break the other way from Wadden. Wadden over to Lemoyne. Tonicliffe now gets it down low for Lecky. Strong dribble goes to the middle and finishes. Strong move there by Lecky, strong, splitting strong the defenders. Day. And he gets comes away with the steal. Goes up and gets the layup. Miller. Gets it to Henniger. Back up top, Miller. Now over to White. In the corner now. It's Young. And the three is good. Dylan Miller hitting, cutting into this Ravens lead. Lecky gets it up top, Wadden. They work for Tunnicliffe. Skip pass, Wadden. He'll try and answer the three. Won't go. Offensive rebound. Todd goes up and in. That's two big offensive boards there from Todd. Gilby over for Miller. Drives baseline, puts up the floater, and it does rattle home. Wadden now. Drives, pull up jumper, won't go. Rebound. Fought for and taken by Henniger. White now, 12 to shoot. Miller. Can't get it to go. Back the other way. He's lucky. Loses the handle on him. It's tipped. Remain with the Ravens as McKinnon and Robinson will check into the game. Ravens able to get it into Lucky. Drives, he's fouled. We'll head the line for a pair. Foul goes against Jordan Young. First personal foul. Also the team's first. Free throw. Good for Lucky. And second good as well. Seven point Ravens advantage here, just over a minute to go in the opening quarter. Young. Over for Miller. Gilby thought of it the three. Skip pass from White to the corner. Young. Out for Miller. Five to shoot. Gilby. It's a back Miller. One to shoot. Has to force it up. Good team defense there Absolutely. from the Ravens. Forcing a shot clock violation. Done a great job rotating there. Finding the man on the swing. Great closeouts in that zone. Really good defensive stand there from the Ravens. Lemoyne. They swing it around as McKinnon. Skip pass. Back for Lecky. Drives. And can't finish. But steals it right back. Goes up. Again, can't get it to go. Fight for the loose ball. It's going to be a jump ball. It will remain with the Ravens. The boy gets it in for Todd. Skips up top, McKinnon. Lucky, thought about the three. Takes the pull up, just short. Rebound taken by Henniger. 19 to shoot. 
for the Flames. They can hold for the final shot. Get it over for White in the corner for Young. Gilby in the mid-range. Can't get the little push shot to go. Five seconds to answer for Lecky. Sends the bounce pass. Finds Lemoyne. And he beats the buzzer. Great feed there from Lecky. Just good poise to catch the ball. Realize how much time he has and where he can get with yeah, the ball. Didn't rush anything. Very patient. Poised. Easy to find Lemoyne. After one quarter play, Ravens leading the Flames 20 to 11. Tough quarter there from the Flames offensively. Had a lot of good looks, just couldn't seem to get them to fall. Reviews had a couple of really good defensive stands as well, adding to that, so. Helping them get out to this 20 to 11 lead. Anthony Lecky, great job as always. Kind of quarterbacking that offense for the Ravens. Officials for today's game, Gerardo Coyne, Dale Farish, and Brian States. Got the A team out tonight. Just about ready to get things back underway to start the second quarter. It'll be Flames possession to lead us off. Gilby. Young now into the corner, the three. That one's good, Cooper Densmore. Still warm. First action coming in in the second quarter. Lecky looks to answer, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, it will be Ravens ball, 14 on the shot clock. Flames also showing a 2-3 zone here. Robinson blocked. Timmons tries to tiptoe the line. We're going to have a traveling call. Not sure if Timmons got back in there. Established his position in bounds. Densmore gets it over to Gilby. Back for Young. Miller now. Gilby, he'll launch for three. Unable to connect. Offensive rebound. Young goes up and earns a trip to the line. That foul will go against Timmons. First personal foul. First team foul of the quarter. Young good on the pair. McKinnon will control for Riverview. Over to Timmons, thought about the three, gets it over for Lecky. McKinnon finds Timmons, spins, kick out. McKinnon three, that one goes down. The Riverview faithful loving that one. It's a big three-pointer. Flames are really starting to nod away at that lead. We've, we've kind of grown accustomed to saying Luke McKinnon for three this week. Two sharp shooters for both Riverview that might get and a Beck. That might get a little confusing tomorrow. It's lucky he looks to get one. Can't get it to go down. Rebound taken by Miller. They get it for Densmore. Drives. He's blocked by Robinson. It's recovered by Henniger. And he's going to get fouled. Goes against Timmons. Second personal foul. Foul number three. With Timmons, second personal foul. Here 
first free throw, no good for Henniger. Able to hit on the back half. McKinnon now controlling. Gets it over for Lecky. Robinson. Nice pass down for McCormick who gets the two. Good ball movement there from the Ravens. Really working it around. Finds McCormick in the open lane. Young now. For Gilby. He'll launch from long range. Off the mark. Rebound taken by Lecky. And for Timmons. Tries his luck at a three, no good. Rebound taken Young. Densmore now the other way. Kicks it over for Gilby. Finds Miller. He'll pull from long range, no good. Rebound taken by Timmons. Good ball movement there, but Robinson unable to handle that pass. It's taken by Miller. Gilby. Work at corner, Densmore. That three just off the mark. Like he will slow the pace for the Ravens. Lucky gets it back, eight to shoot. He gets it over for Timmons. Three to shoot, has to get a shot up, and he's fouled in the act. And we'll go against Densmore on the reach. As White will check back into the game for the Flames. First free throw, good for Lecky. Second goes in as well. Gilby. They work it to the corner for Densmore. Back up top, Young. Kick to the corner, Densmore, three. Rattles in, gets that shooter's touch. Lucky, over for Timmons. He'll pull from long range, no good. Rebound taken by Luke McKinnon. Step back, Lucky thought about it. Gets to the corner, the three. That one goes out of bounds. The Flames possession. 5.30 to go in the first half. 27-20 lead for the Ravens. It's White. Gilby gets to the corner for Densmore. Miller now. That one no good. He gets it over for Timmons. McKinnon back for Lecky. And Lecky's hit the act. Two shots upcoming for him. So that foul will go against Densmore. Second personal foul, second team foul of the quarter. As White will check back into the game for the Flames. First free throw, no good. Good on the second. It's a ton of cliff will check back into the game. Giving Lucky a rare break. Coach figure will get him out now. So you know down the stretch. He's not going to see 
any time off the floor, really. Nice mid-range jumper there from Gilby connects. Flames have had a lot of great looks offensively, so. Able to force another turnover. Ton of cliff. Attacking, goes up at the left, short. Rebound taken by Gilby. And that one taken away by Tunnicliffe. Skips it up top. McKinnon over to Crocker. Swings it back for McKinnon. 14 to shoot. Tunnicliffe gets it. Goes through the lane, puts it up. Can't finish. Rebound taken by Young. Miller pacing the offense. Gets it over for White. Into the corner. Young, he'll pull. And hit. Blake Young. Sorry, Drake White. Cutting this to a three-point lead for the Ravens. Great review play day. Real intense game this afternoon against Yarmouth. So let's see if fatigue does become a factor for the Ravens down the stretch. Miller gets it over for Weiss. Up top for Peyton Weiss. Gilby, corner. White gets it to Miller. Mid-range jumper, won't fall. Offensive rebound, Young goes up. Can't get the second chance to go. Ton of cliff now, slowing things down for the Ravens. You get it over for Crocker. He'll pull from long range. Just off the mark. Rebound taken by Hervé. Pass intercepted by Young. He's able to draw some contact and head to the line. Goes against Tunnicliffe. First personal, sorry, second personal foul. Third team foul of the quarter. Young heading to the line. Able to make the first. <laughs> and second and rattles in as well. Floater, ton of cliff, no good. Skip pass for Crocker up top, Tunnicliffe. McKinnon, he'll shoot the three. Heavy on that attempt, goes out of bounds. It will be Flames possession as the Flames will use their second timeout of the half. Nathan, one point game here. Seen a bit of a comeback here. Ravens led early. What do you think? Flames have done a great job of sticking around, keeping this close. He's Having a all right offensive showing. A little bit of uh, unfortunate bounces, but they've done a great job to persevere, get the tough ones to go. Coach just wants to make sure everybody's back on the same page, get back to the game plan, get back to the script. Flames also a few players who play major minutes. So good opportunity to give them a break because you don't want to have those last two minutes of the half be detrimental. Like we just did touch on, both teams have played already today, so fatigue may become a factor. Two sixteen to go here in the first half. 28-27 the score in favor of the Riverview Ravens. Corner three, White, no good. It's taken away, given right back by Hervé going down the lane. And I think he's gonna get with it for a travel. That's a good call. Tough, tough 
break there for the Flames. We worked so hard to work so hard to get the turnover. Only to just toss it away right back to the Ravens. It's White into the corner for White. It goes out of bounds. It will remain Flames ball. White in the corner. Picks it up top for White. Into the corner, White. He pulls the three, short. It's going to be a shot clock the violation. Ton of cliff. Gets it to Crocker. They skip to the corner for Wadden. Back up top, Tonicliffe. Leckie stripped. Miller now the other way. Gets past a streaking Leckie. Unable to finish the layup. Leckie just able to get a finger on that, I think, just to able to disrupt Miller. Tonicliffe goes baseline, has it blocked. It goes off his own hand, so it'll be Flames' possession. White now. In the corner for White. Over to Gilby. On top White. Gilby. Miller. Five to shoot. Up top Gilby. He'll launch. And he'll bake it home, giving the Flames their first lead of the game. Huge possession there from the Flames. Like we said, I mean, keep fighting through those off offensive possessions and eventually you'll get one to fall at least. And the bank is open late on Friday nights in Waterford apparently. Nice pass down low for Crocker, but he's blocked by Young. McCormick and McLeod will check back into the game for the Ravens. Six seconds on the shot clock. Ton of cliffs, five to shoot. Gets into the lane, puts up the floater, and he's hitting the act. That foul will go against Dylan Miller. First personal foul, third team foul of the quarter. The line for the Ravens, number two, Eli Tonicliffe. Good on the first. And second one rattles out. Offensive rebound McCormick. He goes up. Can't finish. He's going to go out of bounds off of Lecky. Ravens seem to be having some misfortune on the offensive end now. Ten seconds to go in the half. One point lead for the Flames. Gilby in the corner. White. No good. Rebound taken by Wadden. Two to shoot. Has to launch. That one's going to be short. So at halftime, the score is... Hans North Flames, 30. Riverview Ravens, 29. We'll be back with you in approximately 10 minutes. We hope you'll stay tuned for some exciting second half action.
2023 Cole Bowl Classic between the Riverview Ravens and the Hans North Flames. Flames holding a one point advantage after 20 minutes of play. This one promises to be an exciting finish here in the second half. If you're just joining us, my name is Austin Cloud, joined today by Nathan Penny. Nathan, what were your thoughts on that first half? Good uh, back and forth basketball. Hans North had a lot of good looks. Riverview had a lot of great looks as well. So we're in for an exciting finish here coming down the stretch. Bit of a low scoring first half for both teams. Defensive battle at its best. Drive, Gilby blocked by McCormick. It's a big block there from McCormick. They get it to low, McCormick mid range, no good. Rebound taken by Henniger. White now. Hands off for Miller. Into the corner for White. Pump fake. Henniger, he's fouled. That'll be Leckie's first personal.
unable to convert the first. Able to get the second to go. Two point lead here for the Flames. Their largest lead of the game. Lecky, he changes that real quick. Connecting from long range, giving the Ravens the one point advantage. Gilby now down the lane. He's fouled on the pass. Lecky picks up his second personal. It's two quick ones there on Lecky. Flames. Get it in for Miller. Pressure by McLeod. Just over for Gilby. Gilby fakes, puts up a tough shot, gets the friendly bounce. Back and forth we go. Good adjustment there from Gilby. Lecky, back up top, Tunnicliffe. One, he gets in the corner. Nice pass down low for McLeod, can't finish. And McLeod may have gotten away with the foul there. Miller will cross and get it to White. White drives to the middle. Pump fake goes up. Another shooter's touch. Another lucky bounce there for the Flames. They able to turn the fortune here in their behalf. We're going to have a foul here on Peyton White. It's his first personal foul. First team foul, quarter. Lackey for three, just off. Rebound taken by Wadden and taken away by White. Nice pass for Miller, goes up and gets an uncontested two. The Hans North faithful are loving this. Skip pass, Wadden, three. No good. Rebound Lecky. He goes up off glass and in for two. Back and forth basketball here. Quite the second half we're in store for. The drive and blocked. <laughs> Foul's going to go against Miller. His second personal foul. As the Flame supporters and Raven supporters going back and forth with their chance in the stands. Electric environment here at Breton Education Center Gym. You can almost feel the momentum flipping here for the Flames. Gilby gets over for White. To Miller. Through the lane. Tries to get it down low. It's taken away by McCormick. They must have flown the zoo crew in at halftime. McCormick gets it to go with the continuation. That should quiet them. That foul goes against Dylan Miller. Once again, his third personal foul. Third team foul of the quarter. McCormick looks to tie it up here. As Young will check into the game for Miller. Six minutes to play in the third quarter. We are knotted at 37 apiece. White drives, pocket picks, cut to Tunnicliffe now. Outlet for Wadden, goes up and finishes. Ravens reclaim the lead. And we have a reaching foul called on Wadden. It's his first personal foul, team's third of the quarter. Offensive foul calls. Go 
goes against Peyton White, his second personal foul. Team's fourth. As Flames will take their first time out of the half. Two-point advantage for the Ravens. Riverview starting to get a little bit of momentum back here. As the fans are going back and forth, this is going to be an exciting finish. Great start to this second half. I think it might be louder in here now than it was for the Beck game, Alex. Beck came away with a big win in their first semifinal. Not quite the tight contest like this one is. Just about ready to get things back underway here. 5.03 to go in the third quarter. Reminder once again, the consolation game will take place at noon tomorrow, followed by the three-point contest, and then the championship game taking place at approximately 2 p.m. Five thirty-three. Sorry, to go in the quarter. They're working around for Tunica. Over for McLeod. Gets to McCormick who finds Lecky. Lecky, triple team, kick to the corner. Good ball fake there by Wadden. Gets it knocked out of bounds. Five to shoot on the shot clock. McLeod gets it in ton of clip. Puts up the floater in the lane. No good. Offensive rebound McCormick. He's blocked. And then Young will get him from behind. That's Young's second personal foul. Fifteen foul. The first free throw is good for McCormick. Second one short. Rebound taken by White. He hands off for Young. He gets to Gilby. Gilby loses the handle on it, taken by Leckie. Leckie drives. Tries to go up and under, but he's blocked. We're going to have a blocking foul going against Wadden. His second personal foul. Fourth team foul of the quarter. White now. Hands off for Gilby. That one's kicked out of bounds off the foot of Tunnicliffe. 15 to shoot for the Flames. They get it in. White, he's stripped, taken now by McCormick. Leckie will control the point for the Ravens. Gets it to Tunnicliffe. They're swinging around Wadden. He wants three. No good. Offensive rebound, McCormick. Off the mark. Tough shot there for McCormick. Falling away. Just short. It's White now down the lane. Kicks out for Young. Young drives. Gets some contact. Can't get it to go off glass. Another big board there for McCormick. Lucky. Skip. And there was a ton of cliff. Drive. Baseline. Pulls back. Can't get it to fall. Another tough sort of falling away shot there for the Ravens. 
just makes it that much more difficult. Seen some lockdown defense on both ends. McLeod pressures Young. White drives, puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Rebound taken by Tonicliff. And we're going to have a whistle. Looks like it may have been. I think he might have caught an elbow there on the floater attempt. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of blood there from Wadden. Lemoyne will check in for him. Lecky. And he's fouled as he comes in. He'll get three shots. Peyton White pick up his second. Sorry, third personal. So that's White and Miller both with three fouls for the Flames. Like we talked about, they play big minutes. The starters. Seeing both of them into foul trouble. Lucky, an excellent free throw shooter. Makes the first two. Third falls as well. Nice. Todd will check into the game for the Ravens. White. He hands off to Gilby. Over for White. Back up for White. White loses his balance. Kick three. Young off the mark. As White goes up and finishes two. Lecky, tough shot. Won't go. Rebound by Young. Four point Ravens advantage. Very difficult shot there from White. He wanted a call. He didn't get it. Lemoyne tries to skip it, but it's deflected. Has to get over half. They do, they get it to Young. Drives. Tries to find a teammate, but no one home. And that was turned right over for White. Tunnicliffe comes up with it, gets it to Lemoyne. And a late whistle there. Gonna have a foul call. Flames faithful, not a fan. The foul will go against Drake White. First free throw, no good. Second one won't go either, so as Rasheed Wallace likes to say, ball don't lie. So Todd will pick up the foul. Both teams will be in bonus now for the remainder of the half, or quarter, sorry. First free throw is good for you. The mark on number two, rebound taken by Lecky. Lecky gets it over for Tunnicliff. He'll pull for three. Off the mark. Rebound corralled by Henniger. Fight for it, and we're going to have a reach in foul. That one goes against McCormick. Be his first. 
will be bonus. First attempt, no good for Henniger. Second one goes through. Lecky hits from long range. It's a big three-pointer from Lecky. Lecky already committed to play for the CBU Capers next year. Gives his team a five-point advantage with one minute to go in the third. He'll be unable to hit. Tunnicliffe, back up top, Lecky. He wants another. Off the mark. Rebound taken by Young. Young goes coast to coast, and he's going to get the offensive foul called against him. Anthony Lecky drawing the charge. Young's third personal. Lecky through the lane, gets it up, won't go. Rebound. White going the other way. And we're going to have another offensive foul called against the Flames. Last time this one goes against Drake White. I mean, they're just running them over. It's pretty, pretty easy call there. Lecky, over to Tonicliff. And he tries to find LeMoyne, goes out of bounds. Five seconds to shoot for the Flames. Looks like LeMoyne <laughs> bounced it off the official's foot. They get it in for White. Henniger launches. That one's no good, so after three quarters of play, the score is Riverview Ravens 46, Hans North Flames 41. A lot Very of back and forth basketball there. Tightly back, contested contest. Back and forth amongst the fans, back and forth amongst the teams. Like We're in for quite a finish here in this fourth quarter. You have to love the effort both teams putting in thus far. Remind you, the winner plays Breton Education Center tomorrow at 2 p.m. The loser will play in the consolation at 12, taking on the St. Mark's Lions. Nathan, what are you looking for from the Ravens as they look to make their return to the championship game in Cobalt. What, what can they do in this fourth quarter to try and separate themselves from the Flames? Just get some, some big possessions, get the crowd into it. They really have to find a way to take this Flames zoo crew that came out of nowhere out of this game as they're battling just as much with that crowd as they are with the team. So look for them to really silence the crowd, get a couple of big buckets here to start the fourth. Help push them to victory to take on the Bears tomorrow for our first ever All Cape Breton Cold Bowl final. Big, Big block by McCormick. That's a little momentum builder that you can feed off of here offensively. Lecky gets to McCormick. He'll take the elbow jumper. Won't go. Rebound taken by Gilby. Miller. Over for Gilby. Rhines, Gilby, drives, gets it up, won't go. And 
Don't think he should have had a reset. We're going to have a shot clock violation. Good call by a veteran official. Dale Farish. It's Lemoyne. They're swinging around for Tunnicliffe. Lecky now loses it off his foot. Unlucky break there from Lecky. White hands it off to Rhines. And for White, 10 to shoot. Hands it off top, Rhines. Gilby into the lane, puts it up, won't go. Rebound taking Lemoyne. Ravens going to slow things down with their leader, Lecky. Ton of cliff for three. No good. Rebound McCormick. Nice step through move, and he's going to earn a trip to the line. First personal foul going against Gilby. Throw is good for McCormick. Second good as well. Miller now. Kicks to the corner. Rhines drives baseline. Kicks to the other corner. Three for White. No good. Rebound Rhines. He goes up and earns another trip to the charity stripe. So that foul will go against Nick McLeod, his first personal, team's first. First free throw, no good. Evelyn hit on the second. Tonicliffe gets to the lucky. Thought about the three. Drives, kick out. Wide open, Tonicliffe for three. That one's on the mark. Big shot there from Eli Tonicliffe. Gilby. Hands off. Miller. Drives, puts it up. He is swatted away by McCormick. Great hustle by Lemoyne to retrieve it. Cormac looked like a volleyball player on that block. Spiking it down. Flames going to slow the offense. Drive Gilby. Finishes the and one. That's a big and one there for Gilby. Hooping the harm. That foul is going to go against Tunnicliffe. That's his third personal. As Young and White will check back into the game for the Flames. Completes the three-point play. Tonica gets it over for Lecky. Lemoyne is swinging around for Tonica. Back up top, Lecky. Lemoyne now driving baseline. Tough little jumper, won't go. Offensive rebound. No, this one taken by Miller. McCormick had his hands all over that one. Un unlucky break there from McCormick. Gilby, hands off for White. Kick, three, Miller, no good. Rebound taken by Young, kick out for Gilby for three. Again, no good. Fight for the re rebound. Played by the Ravens, here comes Lecky. Ton of Cliff, trying to get another one, no good. Great hustle there from McLeod as Lecky. Short. High intensity affair here. Six point Raven advantage, six minutes to play. 
This is the first little bit of frustration I've seen from Lecky. He's normally calm, cool, and collective. I think he's more frustrated at himself than Gilby. Almost has to take it away. Kicks to the corner for Miller. They get it down low. It's Young. He goes up and finishes over Lecky. Lemoyne gets it down for McCormick. Swing, Lecky. He wants a three. And he's got it. Big time shot by a big time player for the Ravens. Little bit of frustration on that last three he took. Next possession down, he's able to bang one. A three, no good. Rebound, Lecky. Thought about pulling up. Goes baseline, gets to the rim. They're going to have a foul from behind. Foul goes against. Camden Gilby. Second personal and second team foul. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Gilby. Oh, for Miller. Has to get across half. He does. To the corner for White. White drives to the middle, and he's bumped on his shot attempt. It's a good call by veteran official Dale Farish. Goes to against Lemoyne. First free throw, good. Second one, no good. Fight good rebound battle. taken. Great tip there by Young. White into the lane. He's double teamed. Skips it to the corner. Gilby for three. Little heavy. Seven point Raven lead. Wadden. No good on the shot attempt, but rebound taken by McCormick, and we're going to have a reach in foul. As he goes over the back. It's his second personal foul, team's third. Sorry, make that team's fourth. Lucky nail the other way for the Ravens. Gets right up and scores at the rim. White. Looking to answer for the Flames. Drives, pump fake, and he earns another trip to the line. That foul is going to go against McLeod. Sorry, that one actually goes against McCormick. It's his third personal. Back-to-back -back fouls there for McCormick. So the Flames definitely have to use this to their advantage. Bonus the rest of the way out. The bonus and free throws so important as you look to cut into a deficit late in games. Absolutely. And that's going to, that might, that might be the difference maker. I mean, still lots of time to play here. So over four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Nine point advantage for the Ravens. Again, the winner will be taking on the host Bears in tomorrow's championship at two o'clock. The loser will face the St. Mark's Lions at noon. The review crowd getting into it once again.
First free throw is good for White. Second one's pure as well. Leckie gets it up for one. Wadden driving baseline, but he loses the handle. It's Miller. Crosses. Gets it over for White. White spins. Gets into the lane. Pump fake goes up and gets two. Big two points there. Looks like the Flames fans are heading over to join the Riverview fans in the stands. Quick turnover the other way. It'll be an easy bucket. And Coach Redshaw will use his second timeout. 3.17 to go in the fourth quarter. Five point Ravens advantage. Big t another big timeout there from the Ravens. Quick. Quick little swing there for the Flames. I mean, we touched on how much they lean on their starters, and it's really showing here. If you'd like to make that a three-point advantage, we didn't even see that last bucket go up. So three-point game, three minutes remaining. And we knew this was going to be quite the finish. We didn't think it was going to be this great. As you see... Fans in the stands getting involved. An exciting finish for sure to come in this one. I mean, I would be willing to bet that neither team has played in a, in a gym like this. I mean, as you can see, that bleacher is nearing capacity for sure. As more people are heading up to join, I mean, this is going to be... I don't believe they're going to allow people to stay on the stairways, though. I think that might be the only issue we have coming up in those stands. As that is what our security officer is telling them at the moment. Back to gameplay, though, it's one. Gets it over for Lecky. Big possession here for the Ravens. Tonicliff can't get it to go. It's a tough shot to take, especially coming out of a timeout like that. It's Gilby. Hands off for Miller. Over to White now. White drives. He's fouled. And he'll head to the line for a pair. Foul will go against McLeod, his second personal. First free throw will fall for White. Second one good as well. Ice cold from Peyton White. Ton of cliff. Gets it to Lecky. Behind the back to McLeod. Can't handle the pass. Recovers and kicks it out. Lecky now. It's a big shot, and it goes in. Anthony Huge. Leckie with a massive three-pointer here. Just over two minutes to go, extending the Ravens' lead to four. White working on Leckie. Gets it to Gilby. Hand off for White. White spins, fakes. Good hesitation. Extra pass. Great pass. There Excellent from patience from White. Feeding Young to make it a two point game. We have under two to go. Tunnicliffe drives. Gets a Dale over McCormick. Passes out. It's over to Lecky. Ten to shoot. Three for Eli Tunnicliffe. No good. Fought for and taken by McCormick. Tough little fadeaway, won't go down. Rebound White. 133 to go in the fourth. White gets the handoff for Gilby. 
Drives down the lane, gets it down low. Young goes up, and he is going to head to the line with a chance to tie this game at 60 apiece with 1.24 to go in the quarter. That will be another one on McLeod. That will be his third. He doesn't seem too happy with himself. First free throw goes down for Young. And second free throw short. Lecky now quickly the other way. Gets to Wadden. Oh for Tonicliff. Drives. And that's strict. Young now the other way. Out of bounds, it will be Ravens ball. 106 to go. Lucky gets it back for Tonicliff. Gets it over for Wadden. Down low, McLeod. Just a rebound taken by Young. Under a minute to play here. One point Ravens lead. It's Miller. Over for White. That attempt, no good. 18 second differential, game clock to shot clock. Flames do not need to foul. They do have two fouls to give, however. Lecky thought about the three. Gets it over, Tonicliff into the lane, gets it up, off glass, no good, rebound White. Game clock and shot clock essentially linked. The three, Gilby, no good. Fight for the rebound, taken by Lecky. Flames need the foul. And the foul is given. They're going to have to do that two more times to get into the bonus. And this is when those fouls they give really come to back to bite you. You want to. But they, they can still be very aggressive here going for steals in, in the full court. You don't, you don't necessarily have to foul on the catch. You look for that steal first. And now they will give the foul. Have to do that one more time. I don't know why they don't have someone right up. Yeah, I'm a little confused why there's no pressure. That is the fifth foul going against White. Kind of a fortunate break for the Flames as they looked like a little bit of disarray there on the defense. Flames do still have both timeouts remaining here. Eight seconds. To be an eternity as we know. I don't know why a timeout isn't called. Instead of just yelling direction from the bench. I mean you got two timeouts. Definitely utilize one here. Doesn't they get it seem. in. And the foul is given once again. It'll be two shots for Eli Tunnicliffe. Tonicliff looking to make this a three-point game. First free throw, nothing but nylon. Second free throw, good as well. And the Flames will take a timeout. Three-point lead as Tonicliff makes two big free throws. This is two big games for the Ravens on this. Yeah, they've had an exciting day. Friday, Cold Bowl Friday. Two point win this afternoon against Yarmouth to lock up the one seed and now another exciting finish here. And now Nathan, with a three point lead, if you're the Ravens, do you think about fouling? You're in the bonus, they only get the two shots. It's not a bad call. Obviously you don't want to foul anyone in the act of the player with a back to the basket. Maybe uh, you go and give the foul. I don't hate the idea, Alex. Sixty-two fifty-nine. I don't, I don't, if they, if they hit one at the buzzer here, 
this roof might pop off the place. I don't know. It's loud in I'm, this place. I'm ready for some overtime. I could use a crispy one. I know that, Al. 6.2 on the clock. They've got the long arms of McCormick defending the inbound. Gilby. Gets it in for Miller. He's pressured. Three to shoot. Fafor and take it away by Wadden to seal the deal. Ryan Wadden with a big game clinching seal. And the Riverview Ravens are headed to the final. We will have our first all Cape Breton Cold Bowl Classic final. That Ooh. game will take place at 2 p.m. tomorrow after the consolation at 12 between the St. Mark's Lions and the Hanson Flames. Great game played by both teams. That was an exciting one. We'll be back with you tomorrow for both of those games. We hope you'll join us for what promises to be a historic day in Cape Breton basketball.